the air out of a building and this can happen. I wasn't expecting to see the floor come up. It's not a usual thing, but it's a good sign because if it was leaky, it would be flat. It shows that the renovation of this house in Dartington is airtight and that matters for any property using insulation and at this one, there's loads. Existing buildings have poor levels of insulation. If you improve the insulation, then you have a real issue with air tightness because hot air is escaping through the insulation, through the gaps around the insulation, and at the same time is depositing lots of moisture in walls, which can damage, will damage properties in the longer run. This was the house before Christmas. Builders had stripped back the 1970s property, and this is what they were working towards, an extended passive house that's cheap to run. Solar panels and insulation all help, as does getting rid of drafts, hence the air test. You can see this is bulging in, yeah? Yeah. We're in negative pressure. The fan sucks air out of the building. As the house is under lower pressure, atmosphere pushes air back through any cracks and gaps. Oh. Quite a big gap, isn't it? It is quite a big gap. <laughs> Even keyholes leak. But the house passes the first of three stringent air tightness tests with relative ease, much to the relief of the man who's behind the project. There is this mechanical ventilation system which runs very slowly, but without that it would become stuffy and unpleasant inside. With it you get all the... it feels fresh like a, a drafty old house would feel, um, but you don't have the energy bills to pay for that freshness. Yeah. There's still a good two months to go before the house is finished, but now a major milestone has been passed. Time for a little celebration.